how you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for HabitsUnplugged.com. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, some of my favorite meals or recipes. You know, somebody just asked me this in one of the comments. Um, what were my favorite meals or recipes in this uh, lifestyle? And to be honest, I'm fairly, fairly boring with what I eat. I tend to eat the same thing over and over and over again, right? Um, for instance, in the winter time, I'll eat porridge with uh, a couple of dates in it, uh, maybe a, a banana stuffed into it, and I'll eat the same thing every morning um, over and over and over again. I love just boiled potatoes with uh, beans. Uh, it's one of my favorite meals, you know? It's just really simple. I don't have to think about it. Uh, I just get on with it. Um, I love fruit smoothies. I tend to have changed a bit in the last a uh, couple of months because the fruit smoothies were just giving me I, mean, I was eating a lot of bananas to be honest um, and waking up to eight or nine maybe ten bananas in a smoothie and it was just giving me too much of a rush I mean I love the rush but it's it's like sometimes it's a bit too much so I've been cutting back on the bananas a little bit maybe having three or four bananas uh, throwing in some um, spinach or kale into it like a half a bag so maybe 200 200 grams of or 100 grams of uh, spinach um, some walnuts a third of a cup of walnuts some chia seeds and uh, a handful of mixed frozen berries and the berries it tends to uh, the the bananas don't give you such a, a, an energy spike at the end of the day so that's what I eat. I mean, you know, I, I tend to have uh, the same curry. We have a curry every weekend. Uh, we buy a curry from the local Indian and the curry lasts me two days. I get a vegetable biryani with either a normal sauce on it or a madras sauce. And I get a garlic naan bread. And I've had the same meal at the curry house for maybe the last five years. Since I turned vegetarian, that was the same meal that I had. Occasionally I'll have a Bombay aloo, which is uh, potatoes in spicy sauce, and um, a aloo parantha, which is like a, a, a spicy potato inside a, a, a bread. It's like a naan bread, but with uh, spicy potatoes on the inside of it. And that's, that's really it. I mean, I, I make my own curries every so often, but I'll make a vegetable curry that will last me um, for three or four days you know I'll stick it in the fridge and it'll last me for three or four days I have a couple of good recipes for curries so I, I mean I really like the curries I um, tend to um, I can get tofu and make a bolognese sort of a, a tofu bolognese very simple um, brown pasta I don't eat that too often you know maybe I only eat that maybe three or four times a year but basically I, I eat the same the same stuff you know, in reality, if I, if I was giving you advice for it, I, I'd say to you, keep it simple, you know. Keep it to uh, nutrition first and entertainment second. So you're thinking about the nutritional value of the food before you put it into your mouth and the taste that you're going to get from it secondly, right? That's the second second condition. I mean, we all like to, to, you know, to have tasty food, but it doesn't mean to say that you can have, um, it doesn't have to be good food as well. Um, I mean, like I said, I keep it really simple, rice, beans, um, lentils um, you know the, one of the reasons why I stopped eating meat was just because of the the, the contamination you know the bacteria the the E. coli and listeria and uh, all that kind of stuff that's in the it's in the meat nowadays you know there's a lot of um, carcinogens and dioxins and uh, growth hormones and uh, antibiotics that are shoved into these animals that are all going into your system you know um, you know it's it's just, it's unhealthy, so that's the reason why I stopped. I mean, I listen to a lot of um, well-respected people uh, in their own field of nutrition. Um, Neil Barnard, um, I listen to uh, T. Colin Campbell. Uh, a lot of people like that, you know, I've read a lot of different books on this. And from my perspective, the, the healthiest diet is the whole foods, plant-based diet. So you take out all... Um, processed foods you don't eat anything that's processed anything that you have to read the label to, in order to to find out what's in it you know like i say a potato is a potato you know an apple has only got apple in it an orange has only got 
orange juice in it when you squeeze an orange you know that orange juice is going to come out of it that's that's the thing you know when you take a you know a box of cornflakes off a shelf you know when you what the hell is in the cornflakes you know i mean i don't know there's all different added this and that in in just a simple thing like that you know uh, and the more complex things you know you get these some of these tv dinners that you stick in the microwave and there might be a hundred different ingredients in them you know and most of them cannot be identified as a food so that's the reason i don't eat that kind of stuff um, and i stick to whole foods so it's it has to be plant-based it comes out of a plant you know um and yeah i feel healthier i feel much healthier on it you know i eat a lot of food so i'm not really losing the, the weight that i want to lose but you know I, I have to do something about that but i have to say that i'm eating good quality food i feel good my brain feels good i can think properly on it you know um and that's the whole thing it's you have to eat you eat to live not for not to entertain yourself you know um, it's got to be living first entertainment second the simpler you can make this for yourself the more time you've got to concentrate on other things you know i mean if you like recipes and you like doing all this stuff then do it you know i mean make recipes there's plenty of um, good ways i mean people think that um, being a vegetarian or a vegan or um, living the whole foods plant-based lifestyle that is eating rabbit food and it's far from that you know go to any vegan restaurant and you'll find some great foods i mean just because you're vegan doesn't mean to say that it's healthy that's why i eat whole foods plant-based because you know that it's not i mean you can eat crisps and there's a lot of um unhealthy snack foods that you can eat while you're a vegan you know you can drink um coca-cola and you can live off potato chips you know uh, and be a vegan so and that's not a healthy diet so it's health first and um entertainment second you know and morality second you know i mean i i have you know i i feel moral from that perspective because i've read a lot about um animal cruelty as a byproduct of what i've been reading about um the plant-based lifestyle and eating uh that kind of lifestyle so you know you learn a bit about what's happening inside factory farms and inside slaughterhouses and all that kind of stuff and that's just it's abhorrent you know uh, most of us hide from that kind of thing because we don't want to see it. you know they they say that most people would turn vegetarian if they had to go out and um, kill the animal uh, for the plate that most people wouldn't be able to do it 99.9% .9 of people wouldn't be able to do it so you know that's just a fact um, but anyway uh, I'll leave it there my diet is very simple it's um, it allows me to get the nutrition that I need to get in um, and I'm tweaking it all the time. I haven't perfected it by any stretch of the imagination, you know. Um, a part of me, I choose to be simple because I'm lazy in that way. I don't want to uh, have complicated meals and I'm quite happy eating the same thing over and over again, you know. I think the older I get, the, the more happier I'm having with that simplicity and sameness of, of food. Like I say, I'll eat the same meal day after day after day after day, you know. Um, and I don't mind it, you know. I mean, after six months of having curry every day, I might get sick of it and want to change, but, you know, it normally takes that. So, look, if you really want to um, have habit change in your life, the best thing that you can do is persist. You know, persistence is the key. Um, there's three keys to habit change. The three P's of habit change are persistence, positivity, and patience. Uh, persistence gives you enduring habit change um, positivity is the fuel on the journey keeps you fueled up and uh, driving forwards and uh, patience uh, keeps you on the road and gives you the feeling that you're achieving something you know that you're doing it bit by bit by bit but slowly uh, and surely is the way to get to the uh, end result that you want until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for HabitsUnplugged.com. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye for now.